What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy, some, some, some. Hit the keys here today to bring you guys a quick review and demonstration over Samp Lab. Have you ever heard a sample and wanted to convert it over to a MIDI, but didn't want to spend $700 on Melodyne? Well, guess what? Samp Lab might be the free VST plugin for you. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But let's go ahead and get into this plugin. Some, some, some. Hit the key. All right, guys. So I brought you to the website first, and basically it tells you it's revolutionary audio sampling editing. Um, it's powered by AI. Um, and so basically how it works is you're just gonna take the sample, you're gonna drop it into the plugin. It's going to do their part and figure it out. And then you can freely move the notes and change all the notes. Um, so one thing that I do want to state is that I'm not here to support plagiarism. So, you know, you do need to be changing the midis around and stuff like that. This is a great tool for you to be able to find root notes and samples. If you're sampling something and you don't know where to put your 808 pattern or stuff like that. Um, so I just don't want to I don't want to give you guys tools to plagiarize. I want to give you guys tools to create. Um, so with this tool, um, it's going to start off like this. Um, so basically, it's very simple. They still have some things they're working on, so you can't change the um, the quality or the mono to stereo yet. Um, but that's coming soon. So when you click on those, it's going to tell you um, message from server. This feature will be available soon. Um, so with this plugin, all you're really going to do is drag and drop. I'm going to use my guy Dixon's sample pack, uh, this Invictive sample pack. The reason I'm using this sample pack is because the cool thing about it is that he has stems and he has the midis, so we can um, drop the audio in here and then we can compare the actual MIDI and see if it matches. Um, so let's go ahead and we're just going to pick one of these. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and pick this one right here. We'll drop it in there and it takes just a quick moment. It's only going to pick a certain amount of audio. So I think it goes like six or seven bars. Um, so we're going to go ahead and continue. And you can move this around for where you wanted to get the audio from. Um, so it, again, it's going to take just a moment to process the sample um, before you can start editing stuff. Um, so we'll just wait. And that's how long it takes. And you can move this back and forth and you can get whichever part of the sample that you want. Um, so we're going to go ahead and move it all the way to the beginning. All right. And so then with this, um, what you're going to do is um, all you're going to do is drag and drop it over the sample app. Boom, just like that, now you have it. So now we have the MIDI up here in Sample Lab. So let's go ahead and push play. Um, we're gonna go ahead and... All right, so now let's go ahead and compare this actual MIDI pattern with the MIDI pattern of um, this sample. So let's go ahead and drop this just in Analog Labs. And as you can see, the notes are pretty accurate. So it doesn't necessarily get the exact accurate of how long a note is or stuff like that. But like, let's go ahead and move some of these notes down and stuff. So uh, we'll just go over here. This is enough area. Um, so like, let's say we move these notes and you can see the ghost notes. So you can see it's all lining up pretty well with what's being played. So. Um, that's pretty dope. Um, it, it may miss a few notes here and there because, you know, it is AI and it's just trying to detect it. Um, but then again, you can take that and you can also use this like to get your um, your bass notes. So like, let's say we didn't know what our bass notes were going to be in our beat. Well, now we have it. So now, you know, you can basically put your 808 pattern in and you can, um, you know, what I'm saying, you know, it's going to be on beat. So we know that that root note was D, so we know this 808 will match. So we just, we know that'll match, you know? And so then we know that, that it went up to G. So boom, we know this one will match. We know it'll be on point. So, you know, that's a good thing about this uh, plugin is that it can help you build on melodies and it can help you, you know, figure out your key for your 808 and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and try another one and see how accurate it is with another one. 
Um, it still is, um, they're still working on it. So there are some glitches and I do want to tell you about the glitches, uh, cause I don't want to set you up for defeat and have you go through some of the same struggles that I went through. So let's find another one. Uh, I don't know, let's go with this one right here. Um, what does this sound like? All right. So we'll use this piano right here and we're going to push continue. Um, so sometimes the BPM gets off a little bit. So if the BPM gets off and you change the BPM, um, sometimes it'll let you drag it and drop it, but sometimes it won't. Um, so I would just leave the BPM as it is. And then I would just move the notes around up here if I had to. Just wanted to let you know that so you don't get frustrated. If you do change the BPM, I wonder why it won't drag and drop up there. Um, so we'll go ahead and drag and drop that in there. Now let's go ahead and look at the midis on that and see if they match again. So, um, as you can see, it looks like a lot of them do match. And again, it's missing a few, um, missing a few notes, but you know, it is what it is. So as you can see though, that it's hitting that note, um, you know, it's hitting these notes. So, I mean, this is a good, a good tool to help you, um, find some of the, the notes and find some of the keys. And so I'm going to show you guys one more thing that I haven't showed you so far. So we're going to hop into my drum kit. And I'm gonna grab the sample right here. And we're gonna pull it on over in the sample lab. Um, continue. Now you're not bound to drag the MIDI notes on the sample lab. Um, you can actually drag them and put them on whatever plugin or VST that you want to. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and drag these and put them on Omnisphere. Boom. And so what I forgot to show you guys earlier but you notice how it grabs the velocities for you. So it'll get the velocities that it thinks that the notes are and everything like that to make it, you know, play more realistic as well. So this is what it sounds like in Omnisphere on this guitar. I can't stress enough. If you do a lot of sampling or you're looking to convert audio to MIDI or you're struggling with samples and the root notes for your 808s, this is definitely the plugin for you. I'll leave the link below in the description. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this plugin. Is it something that you're going to grab? Is it something that you think's worth it? Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the next to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always. Grab this. Don't plagiarize. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.